Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, we take you inside a Pennsylvania special election that some see as a referendum on President Trump. Despite low approval ratings, many voters in this red district appear to be standing by their man. But can union members and women voters give the Democrats a boost? Here's my Nightline co-anchor Dan Harris with the first installment in our series, 18 for 18. Not a huge crowd here, but they've got gusto. A rare campaign stop for the vice president. Would you give another round of applause to the next congressman from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Rick Sacone? Pennsylvania's 18th congressional district has become the latest battleground in America's bitterly partisan political fight. They're bringing out the big guns here in southwestern Pennsylvania today for Republican candidate Rick Saccone. Rick Saccone, who's 59, and his Democratic opponent, Connor Lamb, who's just 33, are facing off in a special election on March 13th for a seat vacated last fall after Republican Congressman Tim Murphy resigned amidst a sex scandal. With President Trump's approval ratings hovering around 40 percent... We need to support the president and Rick Saccone. Republicans are pulling out all the stops, taking no chances in this election. President Trump himself showed up two weeks ago to support Saccone. A real friend and a spectacular man, Rick Saccone. A loss here could signal the start of a potential blue wave backlash against the president. If Saccone wins by single digits, that will be a barometer of the enthusiasm gap for Republicans in districts that have a considerable amount of Democrats who crossed over to vote for Trump. Then it's even though it's a win, it still should concern Republicans that in other districts that that enthusiasm gap is it is there. At least in this room, though, there seems to be broad support for Trump. Karen Kiefer came with her daughter Tori and her bling. Our vice president and our president are working so hard. For we, the forgotten men, women, and children of America, the standard of living is improving. New businesses are coming into town. It's marvelous. Pennsylvania's 18th congressional district is a mix of suburbs and rural areas where Trump beat Hillary Clinton by double digits. The district also includes a significant population of union members, a voting bloc that typically goes Democrat. We met three union members on their lunch break, two of whom say they're going Democrat this time. We need somebody out there that's going to represent us, going to make sure that they stand for us, because guess what? We don't have a fight. They got to fight for us up there, and I believe Connor Lamb is the guy that's going to do that. Do you have a candidate you like? Yes, Rick Saccone. I'm a Republican, of course, but um, I think that he has the, the experience. When you vote, are you voting on local issues, or do you have your eye on Donald Trump? Well, I, my eye is on Donald Trump because it's I want the country to do good, and I think that Donald Trump is a unique president. I think that uh, he's not a Democrat or a Republican. I believe he's an independent. And that's why I like him. But if, if you he, like him, don't you want to send somebody from his party up? I am a registered Democrat, but whoever I feel fits best fits the uh, mold, you know, that's why I kind of like Donald Trump. Well, what's interesting about this particular district is that it actually has a 70,000 voter margin for Democrats. Um, and then a lot of union members, almost 80 plus thousand union members. So it's coal country. So a Democrat could potentially upend a Republican there if they have the right message. Rick Saccone is a staunch defender of Trump's. We caught up with him as he traveled between campaign events. You said, I was Trump before Trump. What do you mean by that? The issue is that, that President Trump has nationalized the agenda that the people voted in. Cutting taxes, cutting government spending, reducing government regulations that are strangling our businesses. Most of those issues I ran on in 2010 in the state house. So in that sense, I say, I was Trump before Trump because I ran on those issues. Saccone is a four-term state representative with a wide-ranging resume that includes Air Force counterintelligence agent, North Korean peace negotiator, and author of nine books. He says he disagrees that bringing in the White House for reinforcement in this campaign is either a sign of vulnerability or a liability. He could come here every week and he, he could fill a stadium. So I want him to come here because I want the people to see their president. Rick Saccone. Thank you. Thank you. At an event for young Republicans, Saccone doubled down on his support for Trump. And he needs help. He needs some, some wingmen down there. I'm an old Air Force guy, so I want to get on there and be his wingman, right? And we got some Air Force here. Good. Do you think voters in the 18th District are going to look at you and your opponent and judge you on the merits, or is this all 
a referendum on Trump? Either way, I think I win. So I, I, I hope they, they judge it on the merits of, of my, my background and experience and qualifications. But if it's a referendum on Trump, this is Trump country. You just saw it out there, right? Everywhere I go, it's like that. I mean, the people are for President Trump here. He's as popular now as he's ever been. But Trump is not popular everywhere in this district. And dislike of the president has motivated support for Saccone's opponent, Connor Lamb. In a Tony suburb of Pittsburgh, we attended a meeting where Democratic foot soldiers for Lamb okay. plotted strategy okay, so and then hit the streets. Do you think in, in part it's fed by the energy out of Me Too and Time's Up? I'm Let's totally new to this. I've, I've never done this before in my life. I've always voted. I've never worked for a campaign before. I never protested on I never imagined I would be protesting on the streets. But I consider it important work for the future of my grandchildren. So in many ways, Donald Trump made you a political activist. Yes. <laughs> Connor Lamb is a former assistant U.S. attorney and Marine Corps captain who comes from a political family. This is his first run for public office. He's keeping a much lower profile than Rick Saccone, shunning the national media, including our interview request. He did make his case to our Pittsburgh affiliate this weekend. My strategy is to go straight to the voters and introduce myself and talk to them about the issues that we face here in Western Pennsylvania, not about anyone's national agenda, and that seems to be working so far. He recognizes that the national Democratic brand is toxic for him, so keeping it local is what's most advantageous for him. National Republicans are pouring in big money to paint Connor Lamb as a Nancy Pelosi sock puppet. His name is Connor Lamb, but in Washington, he'd be one of Nancy Pelosi's sheep. This race is just heating up, and the partisan acrimony is only likely to accelerate. In the meantime, though, a lesson for America from those union workers we met outside their factory. Given how differing your views are on Trump, how, can you get along at work? No, we're all good friends. It doesn't matter. You can't let political things separate you from being a human being. These guys, we've been together, what, 15 years now? Mm -hmm. 15 yeah. years for him, 20 for us. Guess what? They become part of your family. And guess what? Sometimes with your family, do you always agree with your brothers and your sisters? No. no. But you still love them. For Nightline, this is Dan Harris. Thank you, gentlemen. In Pennsylvania's 18th Congressional District. And a reminder, you can find ABC News' comprehensive 18 for 18 midterm elections coverage at abcnews.com or by downloading the ABC News app and signing up for midterm election alerts.